Hi, I'm Rich Harris and welcome back to my barbecue series for Video Jug. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you my spicy barbecue prawns with aioli. So, first thing to do is we're going to marinate the prawns. So we've got three cloves of garlic and just grate them in. You could use a garlic crusher or just finely chop them. But I find a grater is just really easy. And then add some chilli flakes as well, it's going to give it a really lovely kick. And the prawns I'm using are just a raw tiger prawn. Really lovely, fat and juicy, still got the shells on, and the shells are going to protect the meat inside and just make it really lovely and succulent. And to that, just add a good drizzle of olive oil, big pinch of sea salt, and some fresh ground black pepper. You don't need too much pepper because there's a lot of heat from the chilli flakes. And just give them a good stir around just to make sure everything's evenly coated. And really what you're trying to do is just get these prawns infused so they've got a lovely coating of garlic and chilli on them. Right, so these guys just need to go in the fridge for a good couple of hours or overnight if possible. Right, so while the prawns are marinating, it's time to make the aioli, which is really just a garlicky mayonnaise. So the first thing you need to do is just get a couple of egg yolks and stick them in the blender. Just separate your eggs. Just pass them from shell to shell to get rid of the white. Okay, into that, the garlic. Just three cloves of garlic grate them straight in and then some Dijon mustard which is going to give it a lovely fiery kick and this is one of these great sauces that goes so well with grilled fish and grilled meat as well and if this is the kind of sauce that you like and you love to barbecue then click the subscribe button okay so just blitz that up until it's smooth if you just use all rapeseed oil, it can become a little bit strong and a bit bitter. So temper that with a flavourless oil like vegetable oil or sunflower oil. And it's really important that when you add the oils, you do it in a slow, steady stream. So with the motor still running, time to add the rapeseed oil. And again, in a very slow, steady stream. Keep adding the oil until it goes really, really lovely and thick. Now, at this point, the oil is just a little bit too thick and it's probably quite rich. So we want to cut through that and just loosen it with a bit of lemon juice. Now, the great thing about this is it keeps for a good couple of weeks in the fridge. It's just like mayonnaise, really. It just keeps for a long time. So I always make plenty of it. Right, so the oil is ready, prawns are ready. Just chuck them straight over the hot grills. And so it's really important that your barbecue is lovely and hot. So make sure that your coals are white and glowing. The great thing about prawns is their shells protect them. So the meat inside isn't going to overcook, it's not going to burn. Even if the shells go a bit blackened, the actual prawn inside is going to be fine. So just keep an eye on them because they do cook really quickly. They need like a minute, minute and a half tops on each side. As soon as they start to go pink, turn them over. And that's it, perfect. Shells are just starting to blister. They smell incredible. You're getting that garlic and chilli, really beautiful. And these prawns just prove that barbecuing is not all about grilling big lumps of meat. So if you want to see me cook my perfect barbecue vegetarian dish of grilled rolled aubergines, then give me a thumbs up. So when the prawns are nearly ready, just keep your serving bowl by the side because some of them will cook a bit faster than the others. So as soon as they're done, transfer them to a bowl and just keep going. Just basically as soon as they're pink, they want to come off. So these guys are done. And there we have it, it's as simple as that. My spicy barbecue prawns with aioli and just serve them with a wedge of lemon. Guaranteed to impress and absolutely delicious. If you've enjoyed this video, I look forward to seeing you back by the barbecue again soon. 